Hello all, and welcome back to Let's Play Sidious Complete Patch 2 with me, Rex. Uh, let's continue off where we were before. I was just explaining off some classes, uh, some of the classes Seldia added. I did that again. Um, explaining off some of the classes that Seldia added. Uh, some of the things, some of the, most of the changes. And... Uh, gonna start by giving my... Uh, units of use skills. Don't have that many to choose from right now, so it'll be relatively simple. Oh, and Delita himself is a uh, squire. He actually has the original squire class, except it's just a watered down version of Ramses, basically. And. Oh, while I only showed Ramses, the regular warrior classes here can learn things from Bandage. Shield Bash, uh, which you need a shield, chance, a good chance of knockback. It's basically like, um, it's basically like Rush, or like a Dash was. Uh, Charge is basically the, it is effectively the entire, um, Archer skill set from before compressed into one, just a pretty de uh, just a, uh, charge attack, it, but it's less effective with magic-based weapons. There's a reason for that, because MA is easier to raise than uh, PA is. Um... This one is really good. Skullcrack cancels charging and performing, deals MP damage. Um, you can use this <clears throat> to hit an opponent that isn't charging to do LP and MP damage, but overall, that's just what it's meant for. Uh, it's uh, basically like a uh, a charge. It's basically like a spell canceling move. Rally is really good. It's basically sing that hits everybody. It's like a it's it's a sing skill basically, uh, like a demagogue except it's a uh, buffs. Demagogues don't have this many buffs. It's a random regain, protect, and shell. Just for all enemies in the AoE. It doesn't cost any MP, it just, it's just kind of slow. It's still pretty good, though. Provoke uh, adds Berserk, basically. Pretty good, it's pretty good. Just don't try not to use that on a uh, unit that has a more power, that has a powerful weapon. So, that's basically just the warrior class themselves. They're actually, very, they're actually pretty versatile. Uh, and there's no real shame in saying, hey, I want to use a warrior over a more fancy class later on. Because they, uh, yeah, like I said, they're pretty versatile. So let's go ahead and give myself more abilities. I I will go ahead and get pacify because of how often I tend to get confused. Uh, normally I don't mess with it because uh, normally I wouldn't use it because of uh, uh I'm not very big on uh, removal. Just kill the enemy, kill the enemy, kill the enemy. Except this time it it's going to be kind of necessary and. What I want to give Ramza? Finger guard, monster. I'll give him finger guard. Do I not have? No. Okay, I'll give him finger guards, just to prevent what's uh, to prevent uh, being confused. Uh, at least up until I get rid of that, and then I'll give him a second a uh, secondary skill of item. Oh, look, didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's give him alchemy, finger guard, and I don't have enough for a fourth skill yet. Um, hmm. can't do warding. Can do. Oh, I can do maintenance. That'll work. But no, I can't use anything for alchemy. That was lovely. Oh, right. That was kind of stupid of me. But whatever. Item. Let's see. Can I put pot lids? Yeah, I can I put pot lids? I just need to go buy one. Uh, all right. Let's do. What, what can I do here? I'm gonna do charge. Oh, what? That was pointless. Uh, let's see. Hold the line, zealotry, and vigilize, shout, and re. I don't trust how often Shout's going to hit for me, so I don't use it that often. And plus, even when I tend to confuse enemies, it'll go for me anyway. So, I'm going to avoid that for the time being. And... I don't know, what should I give this guy? I'll, gi I'll, I'll give him a secondary of this. Or at least give him Quick Hands, because Quick Hands is awesome. Learn. You should have already... Yeah, you already learned to. So I'm going to give him uh, Alchemy, just so he can heal. If need be. I uh, wasn't using you. You can learn. Oh, you didn't do anything. Um, I would give him a potion mortar, but it costs a little bit of MP, and he could actually do damage with a shrapnel mortar. But on the other hand, I think I'll wait before I teach him anything from Cannoneer. We'll see. But in the meantime, uh, he has bandage from Warrior. I'll give him that. I would need to learn Phoenix Down, because that's. Well, it's kind of a... Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He already knows three skills. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and set. 
uh, green magic there, even though he'd be only be able to cast one or two things before he runs out of MP. I was using Cherry, the one with the crossbow. Give her skull crack because she has a she has a ranged weapon. Okay, so she knows Phoenix Stone. All right. So let's set Alchemy as a secondary, and that will be basically it for her and the other alchemists. I like using a, as I like I. Aside from kill, 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 I also have dedicated people to uh, keeping me from getting murdered by bad stuff. So, I'm going to be using a lot of... Oh, let me do dash. should have done dash for the other guy, but I wasn't thinking about it too much. And that's... Let me give her a secondary. What can she use? Alchemist. She's, she's already an alchemist. What am I doing? Bandit skull crack. Force armor, force shield. No, nope, I'm going to give her maneuvers so she can... Uh, a bandage without needing to. Almost said bondage. So you can bandage without needing to um, use a potion. It just saves a point. Okay. Dash. I don't know why I had leap. Dash is better. Um, and that's all I can teach him, I think. Wait, square? Nope. You can't learn anything else. Okay. So aside from buying a few things, and I will show exactly why I could buy a shield, but the problem is shields aren't cheap. Shields are, uh, shields are very expensive. So I'm just going to buy one here. <laughs> Kitchen knife, gladius, cudgel, and pot lid. Hide cap, peasant frock. I think that... No, that doesn't do anything different. Just adds a little bit of an uh, MP. Like, 7 HP, seven, 5 MP, HP. You're going to replace these as soon as you get something better, so don't worry about it. And this is exactly why revival is hard to come by. Phoenix Downs cost 3,000 gil. Or war funds, or whatever the heck you want to call them. Um, yeah, they're really expensive. And you only start with three, so try not to waste them. So in that, this is why keeping your units alive is much better than just letting them die and, oh, hey, I'm just going to throw a, throw away Phoenix down at them because I can afford it. I'm not going to buy that many. I'm just going to buy six. It's always better to keep your units alive than risk them falling down and have to revive them. And unfortunately, some enemies in this game can be stupidly unfair. So... If need be, just grind for, um, I'm gonna give him the pot lid, because, well, favoritism. Oh, he can't even equip shields, never mind. I'll give you the pot lid, then. And then I'll take the pot lid off from you, and give that to Delita, I think, can use it? Nope. Uh, she can't, yeah, she can't, there we go. I thought I could use pot lids. Hmm, huh, whatever. Alright, let me save it. Should have done this before, but I was not paying attention. There's the other save from, uh, Arena, and here we go. Oh, wait, right. Cutscene with story. Having attained the highest rank of Heavenly Knight, Brave Balbanes was facing his last days. If only we knew exactly what that rank meant. I will not be reading the dialogue, but I will be pressing it fairly slowly for those who want to read, because I was asked to do so. Just so you know, that said war has gone on for like 50 years or something. I don't remember off the top of my head. The game is loosely based on the War of the Roses, but the actual namesake war doesn't happen until later. Yep, I'm only a half-brother. Which is kind of true in reality. latest fools. Oh, we're only going to take nobility, because nobility are the best, obviously. And then you get Algus.
Pretty sure those of you who have played this already know how Algus is, and no, I will not be debasing him any more than what I'm already going to do. Just make him basically a just. I take that back. Algus is actually, as a you as a person, Algus is um less than stellar. As a unit, Algus is a lot more useful. So, to those probably hoping I would debase him or do something similar with him, I'm just going to avoid that this time because he's actually uh, not the best, but he's still decent as he is. But I already know he leaves fairly early on, so... Still breathing. What do we do? Just need to get the marquee. Right. Hey, don't blame us. Blame fate. What if your name was fate? Damn, the Hoku tonight's. We're not tonight. I do not feel like saving him, because I have a feeling that if I do, he will die. And plus, I want the... Oh, I know this doesn't give a brave boost this time around. Uh, just gonna kill him. I don't feel like saving him. The, the, see, the original choice was if you chose to save him, you couldn't, you can't let him die. And it's very easy for him to get killed. But that guy, by the way, is a bandit. Uh, I will show you exactly what they do. Bandits basically, or I'll just click this. Strong arm thugs, his unique abilities translate well to the battlefield, disabling opponents swiftly and then robbing them blind. Basically, they're the thieves. With a few more debuffs and other things that make them a bit more capable of being thiefy. Now let's move. Run, delete it here, because I'm going to let them come to me. I don't want to get too close right away. Some of these guys... Uh, Seldy did change it from before, but some of these guys can still put a na can still do a nasty number on you. Shot him from behind. Uh, some of these guys can still do a nasty number on you, and one of them before had a... Ow. One of them before had a uh, spear. She changed that because that was far too powerful. But if I re recall correctly, one of these warriors still has a flail, and it hurt. Uh, I just remember it hitting me really hard. Yeah, that guy. I gotta be careful with him just in case. He's a Scorpio, so I don't think he has good combat with any of my guys. But before, when he did, he would do 30-plus damage to me with a single hit, which was a little much. Maneuvers. Alchemy. Okay. Uh, I can't even move over. I can't move over to right now, so I'm just gonna stand over here. No, because they'll reach me in the next turn. I'm gonna stand up here. Act heroics. Can't do much. So I, can't, I can't pacify, but I'm just gonna uh, throw a thing at her so she doesn't get shot in the face again. The dude does have a crossbow, so, and the crossbow's hurt. 25. Almost a potion. And she's fully healed. Let's move up here, I think. Yeah, she'll be, she should be fine right here. Shoot this guy again. Double shot, please. Nope. Just a single. Uh, you can't do much. I'm going to green magic anyway, though. Force armor. Because I'm, I'm... Wait, that's one turn. Good. Uh, force armor... Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Wait, let me see what this guy can move to. Because I don't want to put him in danger... I don't want to put him in unnecessary danger. Oh, well, oh, yeah, if I do that, he, he will put, get put where he can get hit. So I'm just going to cast the uh, force armor on Delita here, because... By the way, see that 3 plus HP? Yeah, it's... Uh, green magic heals for a very, very low amount as well. Uh... I think Seldy said she did it just to get, just to force the units to use it more often. Uh, force the AI to use it more often. There we go, now he has Protect, he won't take that much damage when he gets assaulted because he's in the front. But, like I said, I don't care that much about Delita, I am actually not going to. I'm going to force him to come towards me, so I'm going to stand right here. And uh, the reason why Delita acted first is because of all the ENTD stuff. Oh, oh never mind, you won after August. Uh, August, are you going to die? Please don't die. Actually, I don't care, but whatever. Um, I need you as a distraction for as long as possible. Oh, I got blocked. Okay. Um, can I kill you? Because you go next turn. I'm going to move around you. I'm going to shoot you in the back, and I hope that works. Shoot. Yes, got him. Woo! Yeah, it was a, he got the, he got the experience, but I don't care. Um, I, I, this is bad because I'm going to hit him from the front, but whatever. See, blocked. 90% chance it still got blocked. This is what I this is what I was talking about when I mentioned evasion. I don't know if it's the same or different or his other previous FFT incarnations, but you will hit you will hit far less often than you would from the front. 
And I can't reach Elgus this time, so I really hope he doesn't die. Actually, I don't care. Uh, let me cast Force Shield right here. Force Armor. Protect. Got all three of them. That's great. So now I'm going to take less damage from this poke. Ow. Still hurt. So, uh, I know Delia is going to get hit like three times, but whatever. 24 damage. He's almost dead. Face the dude. 10 damage. That's not bad. Okay, now the flail guy's going to come up. He's probably... Oh, never mind. Oh. Woo. They attacked me from the front. That's what you get. And she threw a potion, so now he's back at full health. That's lovely. Or almost full health. Hit me with an axe. Axes are uh, like the old... Uh, do, wait, do I have charge? This is, yeah, this is the guy with charge. Yeah, I'm just considering. Wait, ooh, that will kill him if it goes off. If it hits. 95% chance, so we'll see. Let me move closer so I can get a potion thrown at me. I'm going to move right here. Now, Algus is what is known as an archer here. Basically, just a basic squire, except a little bit of thing. Also, he's a bit of an asshole, which is true. Basic draw for combat with extra training and range weapons. Yeah, I'll show you exactly. I'll show you what his skills are later. They're not that much different with maybe the with I think like one or two different. And he has magic for some reason. Um, whatever. It's not that relevant. And I ain't moving because I'm gonna get hit. So I'm gonna hit you in the face, which actually hit. I don't know how. Um, stand up on top of this rock so I can shoot you. Yeah. Double shot. Nope, didn't work that time. Uh, I don't actually know the proc chan I don't actually know the proc rate of the uh, shield break potion. If I got, you have a lot of health. I don't know why. Charge one off. He's dead. Charge is very useful. Use it when you can, unless you, of course. It, 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 do be aware it is a uh, it is a charging skill, so it can be interrupted in the way of uh, skull crack and whatnot. That was bad combat because that was really low damage. Okay, August just went almost went down again. That's lovely. Ow. Don't throw something at me, please. Oh, she threw a potion. Now he's back at full health. I gotta get I gotta take care of that alchemist somehow. Let me see. Can I kill her in one shot? Um I'm not gonna take care of you because you're right there. Let's see if I can't charge her to death. Yep, she'll die. Probably. Rex is the hero. Oh my god, I survived with two HP. <laughs> I don't know what the odds of that were. Let me go right here. Rook's attack. Yep. Twenty damage. She's dead. No more healing shenanigans from you. You aren't dead and probably won't be, but I'm gonna run over here anyway to keep the almost dead guys closer together. Oh god, no, yeah, he almost is dead. Um, now he's almost dead. And I'm gonna move right here. Shoot this point right here. And you're dead. Okay. Uh, AI won't do that. They won't, you know, move and then aim. Oh, uh, I'll hit the rock. Uh, they won't move and then aim like I just did there, but they will still, um... Throw potion Ramza. Uh, they won't aim beyond what they do. It's the same thing. It's uh, I found something similar in Tactics Ogre, where you could literally with bows you could aim outside of the uh, projected range, and so long as you're in a higher elevation, you will still hit them. Uh, trajectory is the only way to really tell, though. But unfortunately, uh, this is Final Fantasy Tactics. It doesn't work that way. However, you can still with crossbow shoot, uh, stand close to somebody and shoot on a panel outside of them and still hit them because they're in front of you. You just can't do that in other games because you have to target. You can't do that in a uh, tactics ogre because uh, with a directional weapon like that, you have to target the unit specifically. That, which includes crossbows and fusils. Five JP. Attack from behind. Almost dead. Attack just wore off. Shoot him in the head. That should be enough. Okay. And there's a there's a crystal. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get that with her. Nope. Didn't give me any abilities. Sad face. Just give him a bandage. Heal. Free Jiffy. Alright. Uh, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Uh, free magic. Renew. I think Renew has a big AoE. Renew's actually a fairly large, uh, reaching spell. Yeah, I'm gonna cast it right here. One turn, yeah. Cast it right here. Panel. Flip. Panel. Unit doesn't matter. Regain. Regain, regain, but it doesn't matter. You know what I'm talking about. Ow! That almost killed me. Wow. Check from behind, and he's dead. The fight was difficult before because one of them had 
I, I, I don't remember what he had. He either had that uh, whip or one of them actually had a knife that was fairly deadly. I got the ter that, that same knife right there, the Terminus S, or whatever it's pronounced. Also got some armor, too, which is good if you want a demagogue. <clears throat> I'm Algus of the Lumberry Agus Knights. A knight? No, you're not a knight. Oh, I said I'd go slower. Sorry about that. You're lucky you got saved. You're not lucky that you ran into these guys. Marquis of Limberry. I actually heard that word has two different pronunciations, and both are technically correct. We don't know for sure if he'll be killed. No, because we do that later. Spoilers! The Marquis was kidnapped. Speaking of which, Sildi, I don't know how far you've gotten with the um, <clears throat> events now, but I do remember you said I think you got up to the Finnath River, or at least where you know your own little so uh, your self insert was. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to that because I haven't gotten to it yet. Let me do a quick shield because that's actually going to be pretty decent later on. Um, not so much. I actually have no idea when I do, what I, what what direction I want to go in. Normally, I go straight for like gunslinger then. Um, normally I go for like Gunslinger, then Hawk Knight later on. Hawk Knight's a more of an ar a dedicated archer type ranger class. They're actually really, really good because they're really fast. And normally I'd go for those. I don't know what I want to do this time, so those watching just say, hey, I want Marmza to be a mage, hey, or Rex rather. Hey, I want Rex to be a mage, hey, I want Rex to be a warrior, hey, I want Rex to go speed stuff. It, it, it doesn't matter in the end because you can change around all the time, but it does influence your stats in the long run. And he's still level 1 somehow. I, I, I'm actually going to avoid grinding up until Dorter. After Dorter, I'm going to need to do so. If because, only because the random battles in this game are hit and miss, but they can still be very, very uh, deadly. Uh, so I'll show you a few, uh, like, one, uh, like one or two for each area, but for the most part I will leave gr level grinding out, but I'll try to keep that to a minimum as well. I will, level, I will level grind as I need to. Not so much level grind, more so JP, because uh, abilities and such are necessary to, you know, doing better. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'll try to leave that out as much as possible. So let me just uh, select skills here. Um, hmm. Let's do a skull crack. Noah is a warrior. Nope, I wasn't even using him. What am I doing? Alchemist, let's learn Phoenix down so you can do stuff. Yes, now you can revive. Still don't have any points in a cannon here, but I can't do much about that yet. Cherry, uh, you're a warrior. Can't learn that. Oh, I can uh, I can learn leap, but I'm not going to. Uh, Gunslinger, she can do... Wow, she can do cannon here too. Um, we go ahead and go with barrier here. Because I'm not going to... I'm not going to make her a cannon here. Um, I'll probably do gunslinger. I usually do two gunslingers, uh, Ramza himself and one other character. I'm probably going to do that with this one, but also, um, I can do Sunder Shield and Aim Legs. I'm not going to do either of those, I'm going to do Dash. And then, because she has a, she has band she has at least Bandage and Skullcrack, if not Charge, I'm going to wait for Charge before making her a gunslinger, because you can still use that at, with a, a crossbow. Stella is an Alchemist, let's see. Oh, she, oh yeah, I didn't use it in that fight, that's right. Delita now has like five classes. Um, I think I'll make Rom to go demagogue. Sounds best. Quick shield. Cannoneer. Yeah, he's just a few points short. Or Delita. Anyway, Ramza is a um, hero. He doesn't have that many skills yet that I'd want to get. I mean, Ardor and Vigor is. Eh, they're okay. Because they raise their... It's, a, it's free... It's basically free JP, but it costs a lot of JP as well. So I'm not going to bother with that. Plus, demagogues have a bunch of skills you can throw around. Well, I did do a finger crack. Demagogues usually have a bunch of skills you can throw around for that. So... 
Demagogue. Problem is, I don't have a helmet, just the armor, so I will need to go to, um... I do pot lids. Oh, yeah, they're both equipped. Uh... I'll buy another one. Um... Yes, demagogues also use, uh... And there's a mop handle. Mop handle is... I don't remember what spring, uh, uh, spring cleaning does, but it's basically just a joke weapon that Seldy added for fun. But yes. Demagogue, let's change, change up with heroics, because, well, yeah. Maintenance, dash, okay. Right, let's go to do the events up here in Igoros, and I will end this video. I'm going to try to keep them between the 20 and 30 minute marks, mostly because this game, the battles in this game tend to take a while. And I don't want to end up with a whole bunch of videos on just random fights in the wilderness or... And certain story fights are still going to take me a long time. I know for a fact that uh, if I play it as slowly as I did before, um, Dorder will probably take me like 30 to 40 minutes just because I'm trying to be careful. I don't like losing units uh, since, since, as I mentioned, revival is uncommon. And... Dorder in or vanilla FFT is infamous for being the wake-up call fight as in... If you, like, you can power through the first few fights up until Sweetie Woods, which is in, which is a place right between, uh, Garland and Dorder. And you can power through those fights fairly easily. But when you get to Dorder, that's usually the, uh, wake-up call. In this game, it's actually Sweegy Woods that tends to be more of the wake-up call than anything else. Dorder is still kind of challenging, though, because you immediately run into two Hawk Knights, up on this uh, building to the left, um, to your, where you start out as, from their perspective, and Vanilla 15, it was two archers. This game, it's two Hawk Knights. I don't know if one of them has, um, I don't remember if one of them has, uh, has a longbow or not. I don't think they do. But they're still pretty dangerous because they can they they immediately have the high ground on you. They could just keep raining arrows down on you, and they get kind of annoying. Because I think one of them has long shot or whatever respective skill that is that attacks from a range of eight, regardless of whatever what regardless of whatever ranged weapon they're carrying. Thank you for a rank, August. Danger probably won't be able to get this far. Aw, oh, poor sub story. It'd be easier to sympathize with him if he didn't become such an asshole later on. <clears throat> but you guys will see that. Or if you've already played this, you already know. Sildi, that reminds me, did you put in the fight where you, um, the next fight with him later on? Or is that just, once he's dead, he's dead? Alma, Zellbag. Aw, oh, he doesn't like compliments. Yeah, look how happy she is. Her portrait is perpetually frowning. I don't think there's a happy looking portrait in this game, except for maybe the, um... Except for maybe... Uh, the... White mages, I wanna... Not white mages, uh... White mage, yes, they kinda look like they're smiling. But, for this, it's a green mages since they take the place of white mages here. Um, they do have a pseudo-smile-like thing. I, it's just... You don't really see a whole lot of... This is not a happy game. Everybody's frowning, and that proves it. We must go, because we just, we just heard randomly that thieves are, thieves are in places. There's a spy somewhere. Your brother offhandedly mentions it. He's like, hey, here's this. 
I know how you guys are, so here's this. Even though you're supposed to be guarding this place. Because of our rank. Yeah, Delita and uh, Tata are the two units in the game. Or the two guys in the game that have brown hair. It's supposed to be, like, reminiscent of commoners versus all the blonde-haired uh, nobles and whatnot. <clears throat> I mean, obviously, in this game, it uses unique sprites, but in the original FFT, it almost, if I remember, recall correctly, most classes had blonde hair, except for maybe a few. I think the bard has brown hair, and so on and so forth, but you get the idea. It's a whole rank thing up at first, with commoners versus nobles, and then it gets not so much better. This is going a little bit past 30 minutes, but I think I can shop a little bit before ending the, the before ending the video. Steel claws are usable by physical units, bandit brawlers, and dragoons. Uh, basically, it's just punching weapons. This uh, raises your physical, or raises your PA, raises your uh, brave a little bit, and gives you and has eh, a decent attack power, I guess. And now I just realized that the kitchen knife has the exact same attack power as the gladius. Who knew? Hand axes are pretty powerful, but again, uh, based on Brave, so if you have Brave boosting equipment, there you go. Wands are the ranged magic weapons here. Uh, you can hit from a good distance with these. Cudgels, eh. Not too great, but there's one later on that's really powerful. It's actually a uh, callback to original Final Fantasy 1, where there's a, there a, I think it was called a Power Staff or something. Basically, it just has really high weapon power for a magic weapon, and in the hands of a proper unit can do insane amounts of damage. Crossbow muff. You can buy them off handle now. I need to get this for the arms of the hair, and then uh, I can buy a training vest for everybody else, but I'm not going to waste my money at... Not waste it. I'm not going to use my money at the moment. And I got two potions, so I don't need to replace those. So, yes. Equip. Ability. Oh, no. Item. Best. Yay, give him one more piece of equipment. Alrighty, with that being said, I will probably... I might, gra I might do one fight uh, before I go do Swiggy, because uh, Swiggy is very, very difficult. Especially since I'm still level 1, Swiggy is very difficult. Oh, let me show you uh, August real quick. Swiggy is pretty difficult. And yeah, no, he has the exact same stuff. The only different skill he has is aim, and that's a 100% guaranteed shot, but it doesn't do the uh, crossbow's double shot, unfortunately. Still, 100% guaranteed, you cannot, you can't go wrong with that, and sometimes aim is actually stronger than, uh, sometimes aim is actually stronger than regular attacks. Uh, that's also Hawk Knight skill, by the way, so... 100% accuracy, you can't go wrong with that. Now, with that being said, um, I'll give him... Quite push it. I'll give him me instead, because that's a lot more useful. Uh, Gunslinger, you can do throw quick hands, quick hands, so I can actually throw items. Now he's gonna be... He's gonna be more of a... Hey, I'm going to make sure nobody dies and hit people with 100% accuracy than anything else, really. I didn't even realize how much attack power these guys... Uh, how much uh, PA these guys have. That's actually pretty good. Well... That's it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Saudi's Complete Patch 2 with Rex. Have a good day!